back to Coach's Corner. Today we're joined by head coach of uh, women's and men's uh, cross country, Tony Nicolosi. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. How are you today? Doing pretty good. Doing good. All right, we're going to jump into the questions. So first question. Um, the men's and women's cross country program have had combined six top ten finishes with five top five finishes for this season. So what have been some keys to, to success for your runners? I think uh, it's our culture. Our team is really close mm -hmm. and there's just a different attitude this year about approaching our training, approaching races. Uh, we've always worked hard, but I think just believing in each other and believing that we can go to some of these meets and, and really be pretty tough. I, I think it's the hardest working group we have had. That they had an incredible summer. A lot of people came in in shape, so um, we've just been fortunate to be relatively healthy and uh, pretty in shape, so it's been That's good. fun. Nice. All right, second question. You've had several runners um, set records in the 6K and 8K. Very impressive. Um, can you speak to the success and growth of those specific student athletes? Sure. I think we've got four women in the top 10 all time now for 6K, wow. and uh, they, they all just really, they're all returners. They've had tremendous seasons as far as training is concerned. They're very consistent. But, you know, I think uh, Ceci Caratero and Angie Ronquillo, those two. They, they're really talented, but they're just really, really tough and, and work really, really hard. So a uh, lot of confidence. They believe in themselves. They, they have not been afraid. We've been at some really large meets with some really fast people, and they have inserted themselves at the front of those meets. And uh, they're, just, they're just tough. They're yeah. tough. Yeah, I, I think anybody in our conference would want those two on their team. And behind them, Claire and Andrea, uh, they're, Andrea's been injured a lot but uh, has been really, really on a roll the last seven, eight months. She had a big track season and it carried over into cross and she's, she's really starting to believe she could be a great cross country runner. And Claire, uh, she's just, she's really tough too. She's, mm -hmm. you know, two years younger than Ceci, but she's training with her every day. And, right. and I think uh, it's, it's quite a group, those, those four. That it's, it's just the beginning as far as their times. And then on the guys' side, I think Xavier Smith, you know, a true freshman, I think he's got the third fastest AK now. And, um, you know, for a true freshman, that's that's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive yeah. So uh, he's he is just scratching the surface of his ability and, and what he's going to be accomplishing. So nice. Yeah. Would you say there's anything specific those groups of people are doing with their training, or even outside of training, like rehab? Sure. I think they're just bought in. I think they believe in what we're doing, and I think they they've been fortunate to be healthy. Mm -hmm. They've been fortunate to have a lot of consistency. Um, they're they're really mentally tough. They're really focused individuals, and uh, you know I think there's a lot of people on our team that embody that. But it just takes time, and, and these are the ones that are maybe adapting the fastest to what we're trying to do. So. Gotcha. It's a good skill to have. Yes. <laughs> All right. So as you head into your CCA championships this weekend, um, what are some things that you t your team can focus on to help you secure a, a top place finish? I think believing that we can go there and, and compete with the best teams. I think we're physically as gifted and, and as well trained as we've been in, in the four times for me going into this meet with this group, but just believing that we can go and can hang with teams. You know, the women have beaten quite a few teams this year that we haven't beaten in, in a long time. Yeah. And yeah. so I think that really helps your confidence going into a meet, feeling like, okay, we can do this. We've done it before earlier in the season. So the guys last year had a lot of success, so I think they just expect that that's yeah. going to happen again, and that's that's good. It's a good mentality to have going in, believing that we can hang. So that and just competing hard. It's yeah. it's one of the toughest conferences in the country, and everybody is good, and you have to be willing to compete the entire distance and finish in the last 1,000 meters of the race. Right. Well, hardest part is to finish. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for those thoughtful answers. We're going to move into our rapid fire answers now. Okay. Okay. So, person that comes to mind, whatever you got. Gotcha. Number one, funniest runner. Uh, it's probably freshman Brian Leopis. Yeah. The nun was his oh. Halloween costume. So. So he's funny in general. Right? He's funny in general. Okay. Yes. All right. Next one. Who's the student athlete that embodies pioneer spirit? Probably Andrea Romero. I think she, she's just got that attitude that you want from a team leader and from someone that's a competitor, but she's involved on the campus and the athletic department with a lot of other sports, you know, working and going to events. She's, mm -hmm. she's definitely someone I think that embodies that. Nice. All right, who's the best singer 
Excluding yourself. Uh, that's definitely not me. Uh, <laughs> probably Angie. Probably Angelina yeah. Ronquillo, yeah. She actually has a good voice. You just I'm it. not sure. I think she's the only one I've actually heard singing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Who has the best taste in music? Uh, I think Caitlin Ambergie. She mm -hmm. She's always playing music when we're going to van rides, and I'm fairly entertained, so oh, okay. I think it's her. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. Good luck um, at the CCA Champs this weekend. Cool. Yep. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.